Hey y'all, it's Dr. Tiffany. Hope you're doing well. Too bad Audrey wasn't here. This is perfect for her because um, in Sudan, and you may have missed this one last week, there's um, a pretty bad shooting war going on. And last week, the rebels captured a large laboratory facility. Um, WHO is um, on the record as expressing concern as um, it, uh, quote, is a germ bomb with active fighting. You know, I'd always imagine that when the zombie um, apocalypse happened, that it would start something like this, because nothing could possibly go wrong with that. Okay, well, this really isn't a big danger, and let me explain why and why I did this. Okay, this is educational, and uh, what I was trying to do is how atmospherics combined with a vague headline right there can be combined to make something seem like something that it most likely is not. What it was was a civilian lab that did like blood cultures, okay? Like, you know, when you get sick. What it uh, was not was like a BSL-4 Ebola lab, okay? So, you know, no experimentation, you know, this is just, it's just not a good idea to have combat units throwing grenades in a lab. If they explode a bunch of the uh, cultures, they're probably all gonna get weird staph infections, <laughs> so. But um, think about how the sound and uh, the story can be manipulated to paint whatever reality people choose. Always look at your sources carefully and always question, because that is how conspiracy thing theories get started. Anyone remember that uh, via vehicle that crashed on the Pennsylvania Turnpike with the monkeys in it like a year, year and a half ago? That was another one that was spun like that. Just thought I'd put it out there as a, as an example. Love you, stay safe.